I'm going to make a delicious angel hair pasta dish for you. I love angel hair pasta because it only takes two minutes to cook. But with angel hair pasta, it's really important to not put overpowering sauces with it. Because it's so delicate, it needs a delicate sauce. And this sauce is fantastic because it's so easy to do. It's crab meat with a bit of capers, a slight amount of butter and a touch of chilli. Now this is pre-picked crab meat here. This is blue swimmer crab. You can also buy some fresh blue swimmers yourself and then pick it. I'm just doing this to save a little bit of time. Now into a really large pan, we need really good quality extra virgin olive oil for this. We want about a quarter of a cup, which will just cover the base of this pan. And we want to add the garlic. Now the garlic just needs to be crushed. I don't mind if there's a slight amount of texture in the garlic, it doesn't have to be really fine. So it's really important not to burn this garlic because as soon as you burn it, it's going to give us a really bitter taste to our pasta. So you just want to keep an eye on it. As soon as that turns golden brown, then it's time for the next stage. Now we can start adding the chilli. Now I've got a long chilli here, so it's not too hot. We want to finely slice it. I like to see the rounds of chilli in this, so I'm just going to leave them as is with the seeds. So that's starting to sizzle in with our chilli. So this is starting to change colour now. I'll add a good handful of baby capers in there. I want them to start becoming really crispy and we'll just toss that around. And I'm using two herbs here. A little bit of dill, not too much dill. We want about one sprig of dill and some fresh parsley. We'll have three sprigs of that. I'll just cut the stalks off. So a good handful of herbs for this. This is a really fresh, light pasta dish. So chopping that. So as soon as that garlic turns colour, which it is now, I'm going to turn that heat off. I don't want to burn that. I'm making enough for two people here, so half of my angel hair pasta. We'll grab that out of its pack. Big pot of boiling water. It needs to be seasoned generously with some salt. Two big pinches there. And then in with our angel hair. We'll just give that a swirl and the lid can go on. I actually even like to cook this for about a minute and a half, take it out a little bit beforehand because it's going to continue to cook in the pan here. Now it's still bubbling away so I can add this crab meat and you'll see this crab meat goes from this opaque colour and it changes and turns white. That's when it's ready to go. So this is about 250 grams here. I'm just going to turn the heat back on now at a medium heat, not too hot. And just with a spatula, just break it up there and just coat that in that delicious aromatic oil. That oil tastes so good now with the chilli that's infused into it, the garlic. And you'll see it's very easy. As soon as you start to break it up, we'll get those little bits and pieces of crab. So as soon as that changes colour, we are ready to go. I'm just going to get a strainer here for our pasta. Let's turn that off. That is ready to go. You can see how fast this is and very carefully strain the water and that pasta. It's okay if there's a little bit of water left in that pasta because that's going to help our sauce thicken. So we'll just keep a little bit of that over here. Let's bring that pasta over. The heat's off from the crab and in with our angel hair. Now we need to season it again with some salt because we haven't seasoned the crab but the crab is slightly salty, so you don't want to overpower it with the salt. And we've got some capers in there. Touch of pepper. We want to add our fresh herbs now. And just to round out all the flavours and make it extra yummy, a few knobs of butter and some lemon zest. We want to use about half of this lemon and we want to give that a really good toss. Even get your tongs and separate that pasta there, just like this. One last thing, I love a touch of lemon juice in this. The last minute, just to give it a little bit of acidity there. We'll get a beautiful big green bowl here. So let's get our pasta and we'll put it in the center, swirl it around and be generous with that delicious crab meat. Put loads of it on top. 
That is a spectacular dish. You know what, angel hair pasta has never looked so good.